Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for June. Now, keep in mind that this could happen at any time in June, so it could be, it even could be now, but this is reading is intended for June, okay? So, we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get, we're going to use a lot of different decks today, so... What do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June? Can we have a message for June, please? Uh, that's a pile. We don't want a pile. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh. Chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. Someone new is entering your life, Taurus. Looks like you got a seat that's about to be filled. Could be happening now. Who knows? What do we have for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. A chair, an empty seat is going to be filled. Oh boy. What do we have for Taurus in June? Time to set new goals. So it's time for you to set some new goals. Let's get one more. Well, it looks like you're going to be in your own element. You're going to be uh, doing you. Um, very independent, strong, hardworking. You're, I feel like there's going to be some obstinance here. There, you know, you, you, it is time for you to set no goals. Maybe you got some, obviously you got some stubbornness in there you may have to deal with. You could also be dealing with another Taurus. Very interesting. Okay, let's get one of these. What, what do we have for Taurus? Emperor! Could be dealing with an Aries. Could also be dealing with a Taurus. Whoever you're dealing with, you're dealing with somebody that is very masculine. It's a masculine energy. This could also be your energy, but I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very strong, uh, highly respected. This is somebody who, who is mature, has a lot of wisdom. Um, this is also, this could be you. This could be you in a position of authority, making a decision, or you're just dealing with somebody that is very author authoritative. This could be a business owner, somebody that is very uh, successful, has had a successful life. Typically, the emperor is an older person, you know, not somebody that is young. Um, this is somebody that is battle ready, that is that is ready to uh, conquer the world, conquer anything. Hmm. So you are probably. I feel like there is somebody. I feel like that. I feel like there is somebody that is taking charge. They're taking charge. They know what they want. This is somebody that is uh, using their head, that is very focused, that probably has a tough exterior, but this person is very um, stable, very stable, very solid, very secure. You definitely have somebody that is... Uh, that is around you, that is, is quite capable of success, put it that way. And that could be your energy. You could be taking a leadership position. If we may have a Taurus and an Aries that are getting together. It could also be a, another Taurus. It could I, I want to say Capricorn as well. Whoever you're dealing with is, is probably at a very uh, similar level 
as you. Um, let's see what we got here. Get one of these. Business. This is a businessman. Could be a, an entrepreneur or a business owner. I think I already said that. Somebody that is very stable. Things are going to be very stable for you in June as well. Let's get one of these. Gentleness. Look at this. We got a wedding dress here. I don't know if somebody's getting married or what could lead to marriage or something. Somebody may be uh, preparing for a wedding. I don't know. It looks like we have some sort of wedding situation going on here. Somebody may be getting together with somebody they're going to get married to. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and read that card. Um, gentleness. There's a need to be gentle and kind. Snowflakes flutter through soft rays of dappled light onto a veiled ghost bride. Strolling through a deserted forest, she personifies the spirit of gentleness. An escort of doves fly nearby, guiding her onward journey as she moves closer to the open fields. By drawing this card, you are reminded of the virtue of gentleness. Life can be harsh at times. But the way we respond to challenges determines our receptiveness to its spiritual gifts and our connection to the world. Life beckons you to draw on this quality when it may be more tempting to react, react the opposite way. And that makes sense because the emperor is, is rigid. So you may be taking on an energy where you need to be more gentle and not so rigid. This this emperor, if you're taking on that energy, where you're whether you're a male or a female, you may need to not, you know, block your heart. You notice there's armor around hit this person's chest. You know, I feel like you you're gonna have to react in a different way to certain situations. Um, anyhow. Life beckons you to draw on this quality when it may be more tempting to react the opposite way. If this is the case, the presence of this card is an opportunity for growth. By handling a predicament with the wisdom of gentleness, you bend with the ebb and patient flow of its quiet and humble continents. If you feel tempted to revert to old ways of dealing with a situation, which would be your stubbornness, you know, and set, set, you know, a Taurus is very set in their ways. So I think that you, you may need to open up. You're going to have to probably change your stance, not be so bullheaded. Um, by handling a predicament with the wisdom of gentleness, you bend with the ebb and patient flow of its quiet and humble continence. If you feel tempted to revert to old ways of dealing with a situation, remember the wise counsel of Chinese writer Han Suyin. There is nothing stronger in the world than gentleness. So something about being gentle, you know, uh, consider it a strength. Okay, your gentleness will be a great strength to you during this month of June. I do believe that there's obviously with this chair feel, Phil, there's somebody that is coming into your life that you are going to be need to be gentle with and not be so stubborn and not be so set in your ways. You may have to let go of that stance, okay? Um, it is time, obviously, to set new goals and to do things differently and not be so hard, you know, not be so hard to uh, change your ways. You know, you're going to have to uh, probably let your guard down in some way and uh, be gentle. Anyhow, so what do we have for Taurus? I feel like you're dealing with another Taurus or an Aries here. I think I already said that. Um, let's 
Seven of Coins. Now, the Seven of Coins is investment. Um, I feel like it's time to go someplace else. It looks like this the season is over. It's, I, you know, maybe some seeds that you planted a while ago are starting to come to fruition now. That's what I think is happening. I think that something is coming to fruition. It's time to reap your reward in some way. And, and maybe it's time to start a new new journey. Start something. You are. I feel like you're going to be starting something new. I also feel like there is, there is somebody that uh, has invested in something that hasn't gone anywhere or it's reached the end. And it's time. It's time for a new uh, place. Right? It's time to plant those seeds someplace else. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is nurturing and investment and thinking about is it worth it? Is it worth it? You may be thinking, you may be on the, you may be thinking during this month, is it worth investing in this? Is it worth investing in this new opportunity? Is this fertile? Is it going to grow? Fertile. I know I said fertile. I'm talking fast. Fertile. Is it going to grow? I think that you also have somebody that is thinking about whether they want to invest in you. Ace of Swords reversed. And the Hierophant reversed. There's been miscommunication or no commitment in the past. I feel like somebody has not committed in the past. They didn't want a commitment or they didn't believe or they didn't have faith or they didn't trust or there's some sort of distrust. No trust. No faith. Having a hard time doing the right thing. We have father a couple times as well because the emperor is a father and so isn't the Hierophant. So somebody may have issues with their father. They may have, uh, you know, abandonment issues. Anyhow, um, disbelief. You may be in disbelief. There could be somebody that doesn't want a commitment that now wants to invest. Could be you. Maybe you haven't wanted a commitment in the past. Because this is the past. There's no communication or a lack of communication or not taking a new approach. No faith in commitment. No faith in marriage. Not maybe somebody didn't want marriage. No commitment. This is uh, relationship problems in the past because somebody didn't want a commitment or there was communication issues. You know, somebody didn't communicate the truth, you know. Lack of communication, lack of awakening, lack of spirituality. I feel like you were dealing with somebody in the past that wasn't very spiritual, that didn't communicate well, that didn't want commitment. And now maybe that's what's making you think, is this worth it? Is it really, really worth it? Is it? Hermit reversed. Knight of Swords reversed. Hangman reversed. So there's an absence here. There's an absence of success or short-lived success. I feel like we have fear. There's fear here. There's fear of commitment. There is fear of commitment. Maybe there's fear of giving up independence because the hermit is very independent. This is coming out of hiding, reconnecting, socializing. I think that you are going to be reconnecting or connecting with somebody. Uh, and you're going to need to let go of your fears and let go of, of wasting your time on something. Maybe it's, it's trying to prove a point, you know. I think that you've been struggling and, and sacrificing yourself, staying alone or choosing to be alone because I see alone here quite a bit with the, with the hangman and the hermit. Those are both loners. You know, it can be a loner, somebody that is thinking a lot, but, but I feel like it's, it's time to stop thinking about something and just go for it. But you, there's fear here. There's fear with the Knight of Swords reverse. Just take your time. Take your time. I feel like there's some sort of struggle, struggling to let go of fear, struggling and worried about, uh, can you trust? Can I trust? I have no faith. I have no faith. I have no faith. Okay. 
So I feel like there's a there's some sort of uh, a need to connect, a need to socialize, a need to to stop hanging on to that fear, a need to move forward, you know, and take your time. Just take your time. There's really no hurry. Um, it takes time for things to grow, and I think that you are, there is something that is. I feel like there is something that is happening for you that is growing, and it is worth it because I think that you will receive a reward if you invest in it. This is about your investment. Is it worth it? I think it is worth it. Um, I think that uh, it's time to let go of those fears and step outside of that box. Step outside of that of hiding. Come out of hiding and reconnect and socialize and and uh, stop thinking about it. Just do it. You know, I feel like there's a lot of thinking going on here. Mm. There's like paranoia to me. It's like you may be you may be paranoid of what's gonna happen. You know what's gonna happen if I give up my control. You know, um, Ace of Coins. Ace of Coins is a golden opportunity that you can take to the bank. This is a gift. It is a blessing. It is a new investment. This is a proposal. I feel like you're going to be getting a proposal from somebody or you already have. And this could be any type of proposal. This is a golden opportunity that you can keep, that you can hold on to. But I feel like you're going to have to stop trying to protect yourself. I feel like you've been overthinking a situation in the past where there was no commitment. And I feel like there's a lack of faith. There's a lack of trust. And that you probably uh, have an opportunity to invest in something else. But you take a look at this Seven of Pentacles is looking at the past. This guy is looking at the past. We have somebody here. And I feel like it's you. Okay. Uh, you it could also be somebody that you're dealing with because this could be for the cross watcher as well. They, this could be the cross watcher's reading. We have somebody here that keeps looking at the past. They keep looking at a lack of a commitment. They're dealing with somebody that didn't commit, you know, that didn't want to get married or doesn't want to commit. And they're wondering whether they should keep investing in that or not. Okay, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. We have somebody here that is not, or that did not communicate. They did not open up. They were not very spiritual. They're not very awoken, okay? Uh, and they don't really commit. They just don't commit. They don't want a commitment. Over here in the future, this is letting go. Letting go, just want to be happy. I feel like we got somebody here that just wants to be happy, but there's still fear in the way. And there's a golden opportunity that is being given. This is a this is an opportunity that you know should not be thrown away. This is a gift from above. So somebody is receiving an offer or a proposal or a golden opportunity that can lead them down a new path, and they need to let go of their fear and just do it. It, that's how I feel. It's like, just do it. Don't let that fear hold you back. But there's fear of dealing with somebody that is untrustworthy. And I feel like whoever you're dealing with um, has gained life wisdom. They have life wisdom. They, they've already uh, sacrificed themselves. They've already learned some of their own lessons. I feel like this person that you're dealing with is not... I feel like this person that you're dealing with is real, put it that way. I feel like this person that you're dealing with is the real deal, you know? Could be a Virgo, could be a Pisces, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. My guess is it's a Taurus or an Aries, but it could be anybody. Um, I do think that you are going to be thinking, should I or shouldn't I? Should I invest in this? And I think that it's, be and I also feel like you have been dealing with somebody that, uh, was holding on to something and I feel like this person has let something go with that hangman reverse I think that they've let something go out, go and now maybe they're they're ready they're ready to uh, connect because I feel like there's a connection here oh grieving grieving over a loss somebody's been grieving they have a lot of regrets 
You know, this could be somebody from your past. This could be somebody from your past. Or it could be you. This is mourning a loss. Somebody is mourning a loss when there is an opportunity for love. There's an op. The Two of Cups is right here. And this is lack of acceptance. So I feel like we have somebody here that is... It's almost like they're saying, oh my God, I can't believe that I have lost this opportunity or something like that. Or I can't believe that this has happened. There is an opportunity for love, for a partnership, for a union right here. I think you have a new solid opportunity that is about to be given to you. This is somebody that is not in a hurry. This person is wise. This is a wise, I was going to say wise man, but it doesn't have to be a man. This is somebody that has a lot of life experience behind their back. And they don't want to... Uh, they don't got nothing to prove anymore. They've already learned their lesson. They've already become enlightened. Whether it's you or the other person. We have somebody here. I feel like we have somebody here that has become enlightened. And they're not in a hurry. But they see an opportunity. And I feel like you are going to be put in a position where you have to decide whether you want an opportunity for a partnership or a union or not. Whether you want to, I don't know, I don't know, I want to say tie the knot, I don't know why, um, for some of you, or whether you want to get in this commitment or not. Um, and maybe it leads to marriage. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who wants to get married or maybe you want to get married or something like that. Anyhow, I do think that you have manifested something. You have manifested a golden opportunity. This is something that is definitely real. Um, but I also feel like you're struggling. You're struggling to... Uh, open your heart because where's the heart here you're struggling to open your heart and you're struggling to commit you know thinking is it worth it should i do this there is a perfect match here there is an opportunity for love and i think you're going to be put in a position you know whether you want to go down this path or not there's a lot of stubbornness here as well. So I think that you're going to need to consider, you know, your part in whatever this is. Anyhow, High Priestess reversed. So that is lack of awareness. A secret is about to be revealed. Something is about to be revealed. Somebody has been hiding something. And I saw hiding here and here. Both. So we have hiding, hiding, hiding. Somebody has been hiding something. Hiding their feelings. Choosing to be alone. Unaware that there is an arrival. Because of that knight of swords, there is an arrival. There is an opportunity here. Five of Swords reversed. Now, this is somebody that doesn't have anything left to prove. Like I said, they just want to be happy. This is the end of some sort of battle, right? And it could also be the end of loneliness here as well. I feel like you have been in a position where you've had to fight. You Maybe you've been belittled or, or the person that you're dealing with has. There's belittlement here. There's fighting. There's tension. There's hostilities. But I feel like this is the end. I feel like... Uh, it's time to just be happy. I feel like you are unaware that there is an opportunity here that you are going to receive, but the opportunity is definitely coming. This is somebody that doesn't want to fight as well. This person is not a fighter. They don't want to fight. If this is somebody from your past, this is somebody that doesn't want to fight anymore. 
They don't want to fight anymore. They're ready to let go. They're ready to let go of the battle. And maybe you need to let go too. We definitely have, I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. And the answer is yes, because the ace of coins is a yes. It's a yes answer. I feel like you are dealing with somebody that may have received some bad advice as well. And they needed to go within to think about them, what they wanted. They needed to re-identify their own needs. I think they received advice from a person that was untrustworthy. And there may have been some jealousy that caused that person to give them bad advice. Anyway, anyway, I do see you receiving a gift or an offer. This is something that is very, very, very solid, very stable that can lead to permanent because the Ace of Pentacles is permanency. This is something permanent. I think that you need to uh, stop fighting it and it feels like you've been fighting it, you know. <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, um, I feel like you have someone new that is entering your life or has entered your life and you should probably uh, give them a chance. Good luck with that. <laughs>